Welcome to Trans Theories, a show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm Jason, and we're going to be talking about the new movie Masterpiece Dark of the Moon Soundwave, and it's by a third party company called Tug Mug EX. Now, looking at the very first image that we can see of Soundwave, he looks freaking majestic. Look at all that detail from head to toe, especially in the stomach area. All that molded detail looks freaking amazing. I do want to point out that he actually has rubber tires, so that's definitely a plus for me. Looking at this picture, it looks like he also has articulated hands, and he also has spikes coming out of his knees which no other Soundwave toy has ever pulled off in the past. And speaking of his knees, look at his legs all together. Now if you compare this to the Dark of the Moon Neiman Alliance Soundwave, the legs alone on this new figure blows that Dark of the Moon Human Alliance Soundwave way out of the water. And this thing's overall proportions just look so accurate to what Soundwave actually looked like in the movie in the Dark of the Moon film. And I'm honestly surprised why Hasbro has not done a good figure for Soundwave yet, but this is definitely going to be a lot of people's definitive version of Soundwave. The last thing out in this picture that I want to point out is, he has those translucent pieces on his arms, which are probably going to get painted into a light blue. And I think when this thing's all painted in silver and gray and blue, this thing's going to look freaking amazing. Amazing. Now looking at this back shot of Soundwave, it looks even more amazing just because of these proportions and, and this thing is like so accurate and it works definitely in movie masterpiece scale. Especially if you look at that inside of his back, you can see that most of the car for like the roof and the windshield all folds up, kind of like the MPM Bombi, and then it all gets covered up by this panel piece, which I think is the hood of the car, but I could be wrong. I also do like the heel spurs on this figure and the only thing that kind of looks out of place is that piece right above his butt, but hey, it's still a transformer at the end of the day. Now in this shot, we can see the MPM Soundwave standing right next to the MPM Bumblebee. And this skill alone looks really good because Soundwave in the movie was a tad bit taller than Bumblebee. And for a display piece, this Soundwave definitely takes the cake. And he's definitely going to look good with more of the movie masterpiece Decepticons, especially Barricade. And when you thought the Soundwave figure could not get better, he actually comes with Laserbeak. And Laserbeak himself looks freaking amazing. You can actually see he has two guns under him and that looks really movie accurate. And his whole neck looks like to be on one big ball joint so maybe you can move it or each of those individual rivets can move, and I think that's going to be amazing for some posability. I also really like how Laser Beak has those translucent wings, and maybe in a final product they may be a little bit translucent. Mr. Soundwave also comes with his gun, which looks really movie accurate. The only thing I don't really like about it is, it looks a bit too small in this image, and he only comes with one, so if you really want to get another gun for Soundwave, you'd have to buy another Soundwave toy, and I don't think it's going to be that fun to spend that much money, but maybe they'll make another gun in the final product. Now in this shot we can see Soundwave's fantastic vehicle mode, and it looks really accurate to the film. And to me, honestly, this thing looks 100% spot on. But you know, they did one extra step to make this even more spot on, and that extra step was to give him actual doors that open. Now, though there is nothing inside those doors besides Soundwave's arms, it still looks pretty cool as a feature, and you could display this on your desk, and probably no one would know it was a Transformer. And overall, I think this piece is amazing. And if you are definitely a Dark of the Moon Soundwave fan, you should pick this figure up when it's out. There is no price at the moment, but there's been rumors that this thing's going to be a little bit over $100, so save up if you can. Well, that's all for this toy analysis video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to join the Theorist Nation. As always, it's been Trans Theory saying, keep on theorizing.